grace and uh, I want to talk about the inability to concentrate that I'm have experiencing now that the, the truly toxic situation is over with as of last week and uh, that a situation had been going on for years and went on in waves. Now the person wasn't actually in my life. I got that person out of my life is right after meeting him. <laughs> and I wasn't intending to meet this person. But anyway, that was years ago and just a truly toxic person that affects everybody around them, you know, that kind of person. Yeah. Well, anyway, that situation's over with and, um, of course, you know, you can say that. But, yeah, it should be over with. I, I don't think anybody's, uh, no. But anyway, the, the inability to concentrate that's, that's come on since now. I've always had a little bit of a problem, but usually it's because I have a lot of distractions um, in my life like the dogs uh, constantly but anyway people they're just distracting so I'm not sure how I want to see it and of course it could be you know just the stress I haven't, I haven't been able to catch up with the fact that I won't be so stressed and what is life after you've had a life filled with stress for so long and a toxic 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 person in your life well not even like I said not directly in my life but the ripple effect you know what what is life like now you know it's, it's hard to even think what life is now you know it's of course it's going to be better you know that's a good thing but it's, it's odd feeling it's a really odd feeling i can't even express it right but also i i have been wondering if it's you know if it's something associated with uh, complex post-traumatic stress disorder or maybe i had a little bit of adhd all along and didn't know it all my life i'm 53 years old and i remember my mother being told when i was in uh first grade she she was called in the school and told that by the teacher that i am a really bright student and i get bored too fast so um she wanted to know if she could make me her little helper you know with grade papers or something and help her to teach some of the kids you know read to them that were you know weren't as I don't know bright as I was but yeah I mean you could think that you know that was way back when so I, I have wondered and I had a professor who had questioned it too and I don't know but I, I think more, really more, more than, than anything, anything I think it is that I've always had these uh, toxic narcissistic type people in my life from childhood which meant it was not a choice I was, it was from birth so you really know it wasn't a choice and anybody who's ever you know who knows anything about it probably knows that it becomes a lifetime thing it, it's just like you're you're a magnet to them you know and you know their best dating behavior when it's you know not even dating but you know anyway so yeah you know I'm, I'm wondering if it's just that because you know how they take that they, they go down different avenues you try to stay on a straight line when in a conversation and I'm having a tough time with this too but I'm driving now <laughs> but they'll take down a different road you know they, they won't will not stay on task on topic because you know they're, they're like constantly trying to find a way to manipulate the situation it's also you know this is my opinion but these are my opinions but they're also like you know, trying to, um, you know, they're not going to commit to anything because then they, that you can say to them, you know, you, well, you said this and they're not about to, you know, admit that they said this or that or anything. They're not going to commit to it. You know, the commit, the commitment is not going to be there. So you can't hold them to anything. So they'll take a different avenue you can constantly change the subject, constantly go in a different direction. And when you deal with that with, for so many years, it's unbelievable you know they're, they're crazy making you know techniques there um, and it is hard to concentrate yourself because it's constantly something you know you're you're not being able to stay on task yourself because they're gonna be there they're gonna be there they're gonna be there okay, something I had to lead up. clip in and now I am out of the store on my way back home anyway I guess I'll wrap it up uh, basically I have not been able to concentrate and it's, it's kind of frustrating you know concentrating what I'm trying to do is you know how am I going to change my life now and what you know what do I want should I do first next what what's priority 
because life was a certain way for many years and there was no certain you know there's never any certainty but it was definitely not and I also had to keep so much of my, my life private uh, walking on pins and needles you know all this kind of stuff and yeah you know some people understand how that goes and they'll say you know we can understand that you just couldn't get out of it because sometimes you just can't but anyway I'm gonna wrap this up here and I'll talk to y'all later Bye.